Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I'm in my laundry room slash eye salon. Not because I'm doing laundry or my hair, but because I also have this cage in here. On this cage contains my friend's two sugar gliders that I've been watching for the last week. And she's going to pick them up today. So before she comes and gets them, I wanted to show you guys them. Uh, just because they're really cute and kind of show you the process of cleaning out the cage and things that they eat. Um, so I'm not exactly sure how I'll film this since it's just me and don't have anybody to hold the camera, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, so to start off with, I'm going to take some of this paper that my friend left for me to use and I'm going to cut it about the length of the base of the cage. Um, it's just there that I catch all of the grossness that they leave behind. Um, it makes it easier to clean. So I'm going to measure it and cut it and then so I'll have it to put down after I take the cage apart. Um, yeah. Okay, next thing I'm going to see if I can coax them out with some treats um, to put them inside this pouch. For treats, they eat like grapes or little dry fruit pieces or little yogurt bites. Um, I'll probably use the little yogurt bites because they're the easiest to try and coax them out of the little blue thing that they're in, the little blue pouch, into this black pouch. So I just ride in here. And we'll see if we can get one to pop up. Usually, Momo, um, the darker one, comes up pretty easily when I peek in. Yep, there's Momo. So I've got Momo out in the pouch. Bob is having a hard time coming out, but I think I can get them out too. Or her. I'm not sure if they're girls or boys. I've finally successfully gotten them both in the pouch. Um, I'm going to take this part off of the cage um, and then wipe it out with some car quick. Do you hear them? They're in there fighting over the yogurt bites. Yeah, pretty cute though. I don't know if you can even see them, but you can definitely hear them. Okay, I got their cage all cleaned and their food bowls, um, which are those blue and purple bowls, um, all cleaned up. I will not feed them. Usually I feed them at night because that's what my friends had to do. And they get like just 25 little pieces of food um, and then along with the treats that they're allowed to have. But I think... They're in here. They're wanting to escape. Um, I think I'm going to give them a grape for a snack um, before I put them back in and then they'll probably just sleep uh, for the rest of the day. Uh, my friend should come and get them in a couple of hours. Anyways, they're only allowed to have one full grape each a day, uh, but they're only allowed half a grape at a time. So usually I just give them half a grape a day and then like just one of each treat um but yeah they're allowed to have a little bit more than that um so there has been days when like people have come over to see them or i feel like they deserve more treats just because i feel bad that they've been just locked up because i know they have a bigger cage at home and that my friend takes them out more but i haven't really taken them out a whole lot so i feel bad so i'll give them more treats on occasion um but yeah, they're doing pretty good in the pouch. Hopefully they will come out easily and go in the cage. So this should be an adventure. He's ready to come out first. I don't have anything for you. I don't want you to bite me. Got 
gotten them both out now. Appa bit me when coming out, which was probably the first time Appa's bit me. This one's Appa, by the way. Uh, Momo did not bite me, although he's bit me twice. But they both just eaten their grapes. Um, I bet as soon as they finish their grapes, they'll probably return to that blue patch and sleep. Oh, they're pretty cute. Anyways, you can both, you can tell that they're both a little scared. Probably because of Coda. They don't really like dogs. Um, but they're cute. It's been a lot of fun watching them and caring for sugar gliders because I've never seen one in person before. Um, so it's been an adventure right now. Oh no. Papa, did Momo just tell you grape? How rude. Let me get you another treat. Okay, so Momo just stole Appa's grape and dropped it. And so I gave Appa a little piece of dried fruit. And then Momo stole it. And so then I gave Appa another one. Hopefully they stop fighting over them. As I was saying, it's been fun caring for them. Although I don't know if I would want to own sugar gliders as a pet. Um, they seem like they make really good pets if you like, like, rodent type animals. Um, I've never been really good at caring for rodent type animals long term, so just watching them for a week has been plenty for me. Um, dogs are definitely the way to go for me, but sugar gliders have been fun. And it's fun that you can feed them like fun stuff like little pieces of fruit and the little yogurt bites. Um, so that's been fun. But Anyways, thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed and it gave you a little bit more information about sugar gliders. Um, if that's what you're looking for. But I will see you next time. Bye!